I think it's awesome that Upper Deck has the license for AEW wrestling cards. In fact, I have over 23,000 of the 2021 Upper Deck AEW cards in my Com C inventory. Well, the 2022 version just came out and I picked up a hobby box at the LCS and I'm gonna show you guys what I found inside. All right, let's take a look at what these 2022 Upper Deck AEW cards look like. First, let's, let's look at the base cards. We've got about 80 cards that make up the standard base set and then the final 20 cards are made up of either the staff cards, uh, referees, announcers, things like that or the tag team cards. So we've got 10 of each of those that make up the final cards. And then you've got your standard base cards. Now, as you'd expect, the majority of your cards are gonna be these base cards. But one of the things that I love about this product and what I loved about the 2021 set was the inserts. So let's talk about some of those inserts right now. First, UD Canvas. And this is a carryover from the Upper Deck Hockey product. UD Canvas cards are some of the most popular inserts that they've had for a long time. They've got a little bit of texture to them. They have a variety of photos. It's a little bit different than the standard cards. And uh, the Canvas cards are one of my favorite inserts. Then they brought it back again for 2022. The standard parallel that you're gonna get is gold. And they come about one out of every two packs. And it's a nice little difference. I mean, it's not a shiny gold, it's more of a uh, regular gold finish. It's not a foil, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but you get about one gold in every two packs. One of the other parallels is the pyro insert. These you're supposed to get uh, a couple of box, three or four per box. I ended up with getting five. And they've got kind of this uh, firecracker finish, a little bit of foil refractor on the edge, a little bit, you can kind of see the dots in there, almost like a firework on the inside. Um, they're, they're a pretty sharp looking parallel. They're a little more limited to maybe one out of every four packs on average. The, a new parallel or a new insert card this year is outside the ring and they come about one out of every box. So a little more limited for that insert set. The most common insert is main features. Now these were, or, these were there last year and they're back again for another release here in 2022. Um, they're a, a fairly common insert, about one out of every two packs, I believe. A little more limited are a parallel of those main features that are the main features silver. Uh, I will say when they come out on EPAC, main features are some of the cheapest inserts that you can get on EPAC, sometimes for as little as a penny. A lot of times I've picked them up for two cents a piece on EPAC on Com C. So keep that in mind if you're looking to get them on the aftermarket. Tom C might be an option to complete that set very cheap. Due Dates is another new insert for 2022. I ended up with two of those in this box. Now let's talk about some of the nicer parallels, some of the serial numbered cards that I got. First up is a purple pyro insert. That is a new parallel this year, numbered to 199. Got Dr. Britt Baker there, happy with that one. Probably uh, one of the other nice cards that I got is a hook exclusive serial number to 100. It's a red parallel. And then my relic, you're not necessarily guaranteed to get an auto or a relic in every box, but I ended up with a relic for Mark Henry. I loved him back when he was in the WWE. He's an announcer now with AEW and I got this relic of Mark Henry serial number to 49. So that was my box of 2022 Upper Deck AEW Wrestling. What'd you think? Or did you see something that I might have missed as we were going through it? Either way, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought.